Hey, Tube Ubers, TJ Pyramid here. Good old Joe. How's everybody doing today? It's the 4th of July here. I hate the 4th of July. I have two small dogs, and uh, all the fireworks do is, uh, you know, scare the hell out of them. Makes the air stink. Um, and there's already been reported fires from people letting off fireworks before it's even dark here. As you can see, it's nice and bright, and people are letting off fireworks. There's already stuff on the news. There's fires going already from fireworks. It's just a terrible day. I hate 4th of July. But uh, if you've seen some of my Facebook posts and stuff, you know that I have a pretty uh, massive update coming. Uh, I decided to split it into two separate updates. This is going to be one of them. Uh, pretty good amount of stuff in this, a bunch of random different stuff. And then the other one is going to be uh, all movies from the 80s. Um, not just comedies, but other, other types of genres from the 80s. But I'm waiting on two more items to come in the mail, so hopefully next week. There's no mail today because it's a holiday. There's no mail tomorrow because it's a Sunday, so hopefully next week. <clears throat> the other two items get here so I can actually get that update going but that uh, 80s update will be bigger than this one so uh, there's a good amount of stuff um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a couple metal cassettes that I found uh, if you know me I'm a huge fan of heavy metal I love this band here uh, finding their stuff on cassette was a uh, really cool and these were only two bucks a pop which uh, is fantastic for metal cassettes if you check about on Amazon or stuff you'll always see that you know they're always pretty expensive but a uh, type 1 negative origin of the feces and type 1 negative bloody kisses and these are pretty much brand new condition um, crisp clean really good let's see I think I'll start off with the um, I guess I'll start off with the blu-rays here uh, I'm a big fan of Mila Jovovich uh, especially in the Resident Evil movies um, but this has a pretty good cast in it. Dylan McDermott, Angela Bassett, Robert Forrester, Pierce Brosnan. And it's an action-type thriller film. Um, so, yeah, I figured I would check out this movie, Survivor. Nice slipcase. And, of course, if you've seen my videos in the past, all the stuff I'm showing in this video, uh, do you really need to know how much I paid for it? Um, I'd say about... $14 total cash out of my pocket for everything you're going to see in this update. So, uh, you know me. I like to save a buck, and I always do. So, uh, Survivor. This, uh, I watched the trailer for this a while back. Probably last year I watched the trailer for this. Um, but thought it looked really interesting. I'm a fan of a post-apocalyptic movies. And, uh, this just looked really cool. Uh, I'm not going to let uh, Robert Pattinson being in it deter me from watching it because I'm a big fan of Guy Pearce. But The Rover uh, just sounds really cool. Plus it has a really nice quote on the back from good old Quentin Tarantino. So uh, I, sh I should enjoy this. It has a really cool, cool sounding premise. Now this movie here, you know, uh, I enjoyed because this is how weird it is and I am a huge huge fan of this director. I just love the stuff he does. He's so funny. He's just so clever. Uh, always puts his own unique twist on stuff. So I had to I had to finally pick this up. I just couldn't wait to have it anymore. And that is Tusk. The first of uh, Kevin Smith's, uh, what is it, Great North, Great White North trilogy or something like that. This is the first of them. Some pretty cool special features on here. Yeah, commentary and stuff. Kevin Smith's commentaries are always fun. But uh, this is an odd film, but uh, really enjoyable just because it's so uh, quirky. 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 Yeah. And the last of the Blu-rays. Uh, not a fan of Halle Berry. Oh, not at all. But uh, I am a fan of uh, two other people in this movie. One is uh, the director, Brad Anderson. Uh, if you haven't seen Brad Anderson's stuff, I think a lot of it is really underrated. Uh, I, I'm a huge fan of the guy's films. I don't really think he's made a movie that I've uh, hated. And uh, the other person in this, uh, Michael Eklund, who I'm a big fan of, too. Always like watching him in anything. But uh, that's The Call. Holly Berry, Abigail Breslin, Morris Chestnut. I'm sure I don't need to explain what this film is. But uh, it was finally, you know, time for me to pick this up because... Uh, like I said, I love all of Brad Anderson's other stuff. I've seen bits and pieces on this. I tried not to watch too much because I knew I eventually wanted to pick it up. But you have some exclusive Blu-ray features on there. So it uh, should be pretty good. Nice commentary. Abigail Breslin, the filmmakers and stuff. So 
it's always nice to have some of the cast involved with the filmmakers on the commentary. So I, I'm assuming I'm going to enjoy this because I've liked all the other stuff he's done. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, DVDs. Uh, this one here you may have seen that I've already purchased in one of my other videos, one of my out and about videos here. This is one I picked up for a buck. I had to switch the case on it because the other case was pretty jacked up. But that is uh, Cronenberg's Rabid right there. The special edition, uh, director's film commentary, interviews, photo galleries. But uh, otherwise, this is in perfect condition. So, yeah, I was really happy to finally get that. I hadn't seen this on DVD in a long time, uh, probably since it, when it first came out. It was the first time I saw this, and I just didn't pick it up at the time because they were selling it for some crazy price. But uh, for a buck, hey, can't go wrong. Um, I was debating on whether to get this one or just wait for the Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray just wasn't showing up, and I didn't want to order it online or anything, and I saw this, and I was like, well, you know, it's going to be free because I got the credits, so I'll go ahead and pick it up. But uh, super fun stuff. Wizards, just a blast of a film. couple of classic horror thriller type movies here. Um, both really clever, both really fun films, both really short too, like 73 and 70 minutes a piece. But uh, Cat People and Curse of the Cat People, part of the uh, Val Luton horror double features, which there's, there's numerous other ones in these Val Luton collections too. They're all worth having. They're all fun. Really good, really good classic horror movies. <clears throat> This movie here is one that needs a, uh, I think, a re-release. Um, it is on DVD. I have the DVD, and it's also on Blu-ray, but I think it needs a re-release with some uh, cool artwork on the cover and stuff. But then, unfortunately, it would probably be a shout factory and be really expensive. And uh, yeah, so totally happy with this. This is just a super colorful, fun film, well directed, well acted, super fun characters in this. That's Dick Tracy. This is just a really fun movie. If you've never seen Dick Tracy, this is really cool. Um, another one that's been re-released, but I was like, you know, I'm going to get this one because it's on Old Anchor Bay. I love Old Anchor Bay. And uh, this has a really good audio commentary on here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, directed by John Landis. It's a Kentucky Fried movie. I may eventually at some point pick up the uh, special edition, the more special edition than this, but you know, it's old Anchor Bay, so I had to add this to the collection. Two of my favorite comedians of all time in this film, Richard Pryor and George Carlin. Car Wash. Oh, hilarious. Hilarious. 1976, I believe. Yeah, 1976. Car wash. Uh, this is part of the Ray Harryhausen signature collection. Uh, big fan of Ray Harryhausen. Um, just phenomenal in you know the creation of special effects. Love his uh, stop motion stuff that he did, and I uh, picked up this one because uh, it's one of my favorites, and plus it has Tom Baker, who is, of course, the fourth Doctor of Doctor Who, and uh, just my favorite Doctor Who. So that's the Golden Voyage of Sinbad. But this has Tom Baker, so this is the one that I had to pick up. Just, you can't go wrong with anything with, with effects by Ray Harryhausen. You cannot go wrong. Here's a uh, Roger Corman cult classics triple feature. Um, this is the Shout Factory. Um, luckily, these ones aren't as expensive as the uh, ones with the fancy artwork and shit. But uh, these just sound like a blast. I have not seen any of these. But uh, Georgia Peaches, The Great Texas Dynamite Chase, and uh, Smokey Bites the Dust. Those posters there are great. Uh, Dirk Benedict from the A-Team in here. Uh, country singer Tanya Tucker. Terry Nunn, Claudia Jennings, Jocelyn Jones in this one, um, Jimmy McNichol, Janet Julian, and Smokey Bites the Dust, but you got some uh, real nice disc artwork on these, and then you have the, uh, of course, the, the slide out with some various posters there, and a little brief thing over here 
um, about Claudia Jennings. Roger Corman says she'd made several films for me. Then her career was interrupted by a tragic automobile accident. She was on her way to be a very solid star, so he says he's proud to make her available again on DVD for all the adoring fans. But uh, I love these triple features here, especially, you know, for, for the price. But these are kind of hard to find in town, so I was happy to grab that one up. Um, don't see a lot of these used in town at all, and when you do, uh, they're usually individual and they're really expensive. Um, but I could not, couldn't actually find this box set online to check the price, but, um, yeah. Redemption, the zombie collection, Living Dead Girl, the reincarnation of Isabel, Night of the Hunted 3-pack, in the box, right there. And of course, these are all the uh, uncensored ones, loaded with all the naughty bits that uh, had been taken out. But uh, this is a real fun find right here to pick up. And last two films of this update. Uh, John Waters is a genius. Yeah. So, picked up Serial Mom. Good old uh, Kathleen Turner. Ricky Lake. John Waters. And of course you get the uh, audio commentary with John Waters, which is just a blast. He's just so fun to listen to. Got the inside. Nice old click case. And the last movie of the bunch. Um, once again, John Waters uh, with an audio commentary with by John Waters. Don't see this on DVD too often. This is the NC-17 version. But Pink Flamingos with the fantastic divine. You know, this might not be the best movie John Waters has done. It might not be the best movie in general, but it's one of those movies that once you see it, it will be burned in your mind for the rest of your life. I first saw this when I was just a little guy, and uh, I remember so much about it, especially the uh, pretty notorious ending involving divine. But uh, so, so happy to stumble across this. There's some movies that when I go into a store, I go to the use section and uh, look through the little cards that have the names of what movies is behind the card. And uh, this is just one of those films I always go there. They usually have the card. You pull it back. There's nothing there. This time, it was there. And I was just... Everybody in the store probably heard me scream and shout. But uh, glad to finally have this into the collection, along with Serial Mom. And uh, perhaps some... Uh, other John Waters stuff coming up in that 80s update. I don't know, you have to stay tuned. But uh, that's that update. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't really matter to me. Um, comment, which is more important. I like reading comments, I like uh, writing back to comments. Subscribe, spread the word, take care, and cheers.